you call me over here, you tell me it's some sort of emergency, but all we're doing is looking for some stupid cart thingy? Whoa, it's not just some stupid cart thing. It's my little red wagon. Ooh. Hey, is this it? Oh, my little red wagon. Oh, how I've missed you. Dude, did you just have a flashback to when you were a kid? What? No. You had to be there. Good morning, Art. I'm Grayson. And I'm Jackson. Today is Wednesday, March 27th. And today, we are celebrating Little Red Wagons. Aren't they just the darnest things? Wait, what? You know, the, the tiny little wagons that were usually red and, you know, you always carried around as a child. Um, I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. Well, the Little Red Wagon's roots trace back to Antonio Payson, an Italian immigrant who arrived in Chicago back in 1914. Inspired by innovations nationwide, he rented a workshop and began crafting handmade things like furniture, tricycles, and wagons for kids. His initial line of wagons, named the Liberty Toaster, sold rapidly. Eventually, this creation evolved into the iconic radio flyer, or what we sometimes call today, Little Red Wagons. Yeah, I still don't get your excitement. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you had to be there. Please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's Miss Ubaldi with this week's Wellness Wednesday Report. Good morning, Heart. This is Mrs. Ciabaldi in the Wellness Center. Forgiving yourself. We've all made mistakes, big or small. Sometimes it's hard to let go of the guilt and shame that comes with it. When we hold on to self-blame, it weighs us down, affecting our self-esteem and relationships. It's okay to mess up. It's part of being human. Instead of beating yourself up, try to learn from your mistakes. Use them as stepping stones for growth. Forgiving yourself is very important. A couple of tips on how to do this. Acknowledge your emotions. Understand the mistake. Take responsibility. Practice self-compassion. Release the guilt. Be patient. It take takes time and seek support. And please know the Wellness Center is always here for you. Be kind to yourself, forgive yourself, and keep on growing. Back to you guys in the studio. The ASPE board elections are this Friday. Here are your presidency candidates. Hey, what are you guys doing? Good morning. <sighs> For ASP president. Hi, I'm Al Reza. And I'm Katie. And, and together, together we're, we're the, the twins. twins. I'm twin one. I'm running for president. I've been on Varsity Cross Country for three years. I'm the club president of Future Coaches of America, and I have a 4.39 GPA. I'm smart, passionate, decisive. Oh, and I have really nice calves. I'm twin two, and I'm running for vice president. I've been on varsity cheer for a year, and I did heart girls golf for two years. I'm also the publicist for Future Coast of America, which I highly recommend joining. I'm creative, outgoing, and one thing I share with my twin is that we're both passionate. One thing we don't share is that I'm funny. As the first presidents under the new mascot, we hope to define the new heart culture. But hope to keep the welcoming community we have already created for the incoming freshmen. So, so who, who are, are you gonna, gonna vote, vote for? for? Oh, do you hear that? Wait, yeah, I do. Yeah. Hey. Vote the twins! I'm Audrey Kim. And I'm Liam Mee. And, and we're, we're running, running, running for your ASP president. president. If you vote for me, I promise we will have the best spirit weeks, rallies, and all other school themed events. Ever. As your previous freshman and sophomore class president, I can assure you that I have loads of experience that I will be able to bring our community together to create the best year yet. As a member of NHS, CSF, Park Boys Soccer, and even the president of my own club, this proves that I am extremely organized, a natural leader, and work very well with others. I'm a part of CSF, NHS, and Key Club. I was on the Heart Cheer team and our Heart Comp team. I also was able to head a commission this year, so you know I'll aim for the stars. 
A stone is not currently in ASP, but is viewed from afar. I can bring my outside perspectives in and make an impact on the front line. As your ASP president, we really want to hear your voices because your voice matters to us. We've been best friends since seventh grade. So naturally, we work super well together. Make sure to vote, vote us this Friday, Friday for your president. Two, one! Cool <laughs> stuff. Boo, yucky! Breaking news! Francesca Ciobaldi and Dylan Zambrin have just announced their campaign for ASB Executive President and Vice President. Hi, I'm Dylan Zambrin and I'm running for the Executive President. I've been a part of ASB for three years and I've also been on the baseball team as well as the school site council. I love um, hanging out with my friends and making great memories. Hi, I'm Francesca Ciobaldi and I'm running for your Executive Vice President for ASB. I've been a part of ASB for two consecutive years, as well as being involved in numerous clubs and Hearts Varsity Tennis. I want to make this school a safer place for everyone, and I want everyone to feel like Hart is a second home to them. Just learned that we have an exclusive interview with them. As we said before, we have so many great ideas that we hope to implement if we are elected Vice President and President, and we hope to share them all with you guys. Our leadership skills work really well together, and as junior class presidents, we have worked hard to provide you with fundraisers, rallies, the UCLA Blood Drive, and prom. Check out this great Women's History Month report. Hey Heart and Celebration of Women's History Month today, we're going to be celebrating one of the greatest physicists and chemists in the world has ever seen, Mary Curie. Mary Curie was born in Warsaw, Poland in 1867. Her parents were both teachers who let her down pursuing physics and working in the laboratories. In 1891, Curie would move to France to go to college at the University of Paris. She would meet her love of her life, Pierre Curie. As they got married, they both graduated from the University of Paris in 1894. Over the next 10 years, Curie and her husband's extensive research would go into physics and x-rays, which led them to find new discoveries, allowing them to go into hospitals and help people. In 1903, her and her husband won the Nobel Peace Prize for their contributions in the physics. Sadly, Curie's husband died, but this only made her want to extend her research further. Curie fought for more and better laboratories for scientists and was able to ra isolate radium, this earning her her second Nobel Peace Prize in chemistry. She became the first woman to ever win a Nobel Peace Prize and the only person to ever win a Nobel Peace Prize in two scientific fields, creating an everlasting impact on science and society. She died at age 66 due to long exposure to radium. Her legacy has helped shape the world and saved thousands and millions of people around the world. I'm Kaylee Salentino reporting for TV. Back to you in the studio. And now, the news. JV Boys Golf play in their league match number two at Hanson Dam Country Club. Tea time is at 11. Varsity Boys Lacrosse take on Saugus at Saugus at 3. Varsity Girls Lacrosse also go up against Saugus right here at Hart at 3. Swim Team versus Castake at the Aquatic Center at 1.30. JV Baseball take on Saugus at Saugus at 4. Come check out the 3v3 basketball doubleheader today at lunch in the large gym. First, the Basketball League Championship will be taking place between Triple Double and the winners. Afterwards, the champions will get to take on the staff team. Come and check out the fun. Come out and enjoy some yummy ice cream and help support our choir at Handel's Ice Cream in Stevenson Ranch. Show them this flyer right here between 11 a.m. and 10 p.m. today, and 20% of your purchase will be donated to Heart Show Choir. Thank you for your support. Students, come find your dresser suit with us. Join us for our third annual From Heart to Prom event, Mondays and Wednesdays from 3 to 4 p.m. through April 10th. Contact Miss Maria or Miss Casarena if you have any questions. Attention Heart! The HPO will be selling Starbucks drinks, muffins, and donuts from 7.15 to 8.30 tomorrow morning outside the ASB office. Get some delicious morning treats before they run out. Students! Looking to give back to the community and have fun while working this summer? Join the Camp Clarita team. Scan this QR code to apply before Wednesday, April 24th. Club. Domino's Club meets today at lunch in room F33. It's a game that you can actually play. Feel free to stop by. Mechanics of the Mind will be meeting today at lunch in room F31. Join to learn about disorder psychology. Everyone is welcome. Now it's time for today's quote of the day. Everything depends upon a little red wagon glazed with rainwater beside the white chickens. William Carlos Williams. Well, that's it for our show. And have a great little red wagon day.
and stay classy, Art. Now I'm with you to the moon.